<laughs> Thank you. And somehow I feel you're going to be underwhelmed. But uh, I mean, especially after after this one, um, I am uh, moving outside my comfort zone, right? I mean, I'm not going to talk about promo or anything like that. I'm going to talk about stuff. Uh, I make videos. Uh, I have made videos for different publications and things like that, to as advertisements and stuff like that, and. Uh, the first thing you have to know is that I am a shitty video maker, but I have the philosophy that you have to embrace your shittiness. And uh, if you if you are bad at something, then you know just make it part of the video. Don't try. I mean, okay, yes, try and be better, of course. But if you are crap at drawing, well, make crappy drawings. You know, don't try and be uh, uh, something that you aren't. Right? You, and there was this video I wanted to make, right, uh, well, that I actually made. Uh, I'm going to show you at least a bit. It's for, uh, uh, there's, no, uh, there's no audio that will have that work, but, okay, it's for a magazine that I edited back in the day. And there were several effects I wanted to achieve, and this was one of them, okay? Just so you can see it's in all its glory, again. There you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> how do you do that? I, the, uh, the thing is that I say, okay, I want to do this. I have no idea how I'm going to do this, right? Uh, uh, and I have no idea about, you know, really... I have no formal training in editing. I just played a lot with KD in life, right? And I was not happy with the normal transitions because I think when you use a normal transition like a star or something that swoops from left to right or whatever, it's like when you are using a word processor and you're using one sentence, all the different fonts you have. That is something that the typical beginner uses, right? And yeah, okay, I'm crappy at this, but I have my pride too. So, the first thing you do when you are like me and you have no idea of how to do it, you go at it with a sledgehammer, right? So, the first step for me, well, okay, so that's what I wanted to achieve, was to say, okay, I will draw every single frame of animation by hand, you know, using GIMP or Krita or whatever, and move it from left to right, and I will use a fill here, a green, right, a, a pure green here, and then I will use KD Life and put it on top, right, and then I will use, uh, well, and then I will use the mask, I will use a chroma effect, sorry, I will use a chroma effect, and I will make the underlying video shine through, so you go, oh, damn, my ears are too small. <laughs> right? That was my first, and that is what I did for that video. But of course, I thought, if I have to do this again, this is, this is bullshit. I'm going to have to do all these little things moving from left to right, or, and I have to do it also with not just a, a, a static image that I move from left to right, but I want to do it also with something that is really animated. Right? So, I wrote a script. Okay. And I'm going to demonstrate to you right now live how it works. Now, of course, this is uh, a demo, so many things can go wrong. But anyway, so I have this video, right, that I downloaded from the internet. I am pretty sure it is, yeah, it's, okay, yeah, it's just it's stupid, but okay. So my idea was, I'm going to make that guy run across the screen, right? And in his way, I'm going to have one video, and then in his way, it will come the other one. That, okay? But how do you do that? Because this is not just one frame that I move by hand now. I have something really animated, right? Okay. 
So, the first thing I had to do was get rid of the green screen uh, that guy is in front of. So, um, uh, this is my crib, okay? So, oh, no, sorry. The first thing I have to do is to reduce it. Uh, I have to split the whole uh, video into, into frames, okay? So I have this KD Live um, project here. Now, uh, it make, is there a bit from KD Live here? No, because this is not the latest one. I know. But uh, then again, it doesn't matter because it, it works the same for, for everything. This is really, really basic stuff. Basically, what you do is you just Render the project to PNG, right? And we're going to render it there. You don't have to. You don't have to specify anything like you know how many digits you want. KD Live will do it for you, right? And we render. Okay, and it's done. Right. Okay, so now we've got all these images, right? And what we have to do now is to get rid of that green background, okay, and make it transparent. Okay, um, for that uh, I looked at several things, I thought of doing it by hand, but there's 195 frames. Uh, no, that's too lazy for that, so I use image magic. Okay, so I have a little, I have a, a little image magic thing here, right? That I am just uh, wait, I'll break up for you so you can see, see it. That's the one, okay? Um, so I'll highlight that one second. That one, okay? So basically. You have the background color, which turns out is not exactly uh, pure green, right? I'm using K, K color picker or whatever it's called. I moved around the, the green part, and in general, that was the green. Okay, and what you do is well, uh, are you guys familiar with image magic? Who's familiar with image magic? Oh, lots of people, right? Well, you know what fuzz does, right? It means that, you know, you have, uh, it gives you 40% in this case, near the green you're looking for, right? So it's not exactly, if it was 0%, it would only go for the, for the pixels of the, uh, that color. But 40% gives you uh, more green, right? And then uh, uh, making that opaque makes it transparent with a PNG, right? So let's try that. So we're going to try with the first image. Okay, now we have to do 
that with every single image. Of course, what do we use? We use a, a, a loop, a form. So, transition to last for, the transition to last for. 
I would say for these, about 60 frames per minute. That's about two seconds an editor. Right? Okay. Now, fingers crossed. Ooh, it worked. Okay. So it's going to put it in here. It's creating. What it's doing here now is resizing the animation so that it is exactly the size uh, of. The, it is exactly the height of the two of the two uh, videos we're going to merge together, right? Then, it also creates another... It creates another folder with the animation now moving from right to left, okay? Dragging a green tape or whatever behind it, okay? And a mask, because that is the trick to use with KDNI. Now, this won't take long, because there are only 60 frames. And it's done. Right, back to KDNI. Now, so, now we have uh, uh, the, the, the components we need. We're going to load. Okay. Those are the two videos we're going to mash uh, together, right? We're going to load the transition. We're not going to bother with the chroma. We're going to go directly to this. Okay, here's the trick. You import image sequence. And that means it will not import only one frame, it will import all the frames as a video clip. Let's have a look. So, Cinta is going to go here. Tears of Steel is going to go here. And, oh, okay. It's very short. Right, we're going to zoom in. Right, here we go. Now, what you're going to see now. We need one more, uh, but as you can see, it's just the guy uh, transport and transparent background running in front of uh, the first clip. So what we need is we need another track. We're going to put it video track. Yes. Uh, no. Right. Okay. And we're going to put this one down here and this one down here. By the way, uh, it's a pity that the guy is giving me live from up here because this. Uh, the, the way things snap together is just awesome. So, uh, we're going to load the mask. And you see. Uh, so, the screw create the mask. Here we go. Crude XR 
uh, as programmers, you know what an XOR is. In this case, uh, what the XOR is, if there is a transparent pixel or not. If there is a, 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 a colored pixel and there's a, a, in, in both layers, then it makes it transparent. Okay? And the bottom layer will show through. The bottom layer being this one down here, right? So instead of alpha blend, we choose XOR. Ta da! There we go, slow motion. Yeah. And it works. the normal, rather boring mm, fades and transitions that you have in uh, daily life. I have more, I have dozens of, of stuff, of, of shit like this. I have how to make the perfect gift for your dad bees. Uh, you know, I have how to make uh, routine. These are just little things that you can use to supplement your, your daily life, uh, daily life experience. Um, that's it. Any questions? There are so many GIFs around, it's a horrible format, they are, they are terrible, but a lot of people like GIFs. Well, the GIFs that the, the TV in life make are not very good, they're very pixelated, etc. With, with and with a simple one line of FMP, you can make much better GIFs. And King Life in the background uses, K, uh, uses FMP, right? But I haven't found a way to integrate the system I use to make a, a, a gift into, and that should be much simpler than this. So I don't know. I, I, that's why I asked if there was anybody from Kidding Life here. Maybe they would have been able to eliminate us. I don't know. I have used a new version, yes, and it's, uh, okay, uh, for me it crashed all the time, so, yeah, I mean, I, I was able to, when you dragged a, a, a new uh, 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 clip and it separates, for example, the audio and the video, which is very useful, right, but the moment I, I know it separated, it crashed, and uh, uh, I admit I haven't gone back to that in the last two or three weeks. I don't know if it's solved. Anybody else? Is there anybody from Krita here? Okay, ah, okay. Uh, just before I finish, I want to show uh, uh, this gentleman. Uh, uh, yeah, we, uh, have you, do you realize that? The Linux Foundation has now um, teamed up with a load of... Yes, okay. Krita is not on that list. The GIMP is on that list. We have to get Krita on that list. Uh, okay, I'll give you a bit of context. The Linux Foundation has teamed up with a load of big, uh, invest, uh, big uh, movie uh, uh, companies, Industrial Light and Magic, Fox, Etc. And they, are, they have started a project called Open Source Movie Something, right? And they are, what they're trying to get is 
all the modifications that those uh, those companies are doing to open source projects they are using to produce uh, movies to share them, right, and be compliant with licenses and stuff like that. GIMP is on that list as are many other open source projects. Image Magic is on that list. FMTech is on that list. KD Life is not on that list, and Creepy is not on that list. Uh, going back to what is my core function here, which is promo, one of the things we're going to be discussing is to see if we can get KD products on that list. Okay? Anything else? Okay, so I'm done. Thank you.